Good morning, everybody. <laughs> okay, maybe you couldn't see my breath, but it's still really cold in my garage. All right, today I'm going for my first mammogram. It's just a screening. There's nothing wrong. Um, I lay in bed until 9 a.m. because of my leg pain. So I'm going to have to figure out... I'm going to have to figure out but what happens is that the bowels and the legs conspire together to keep me in bed too long. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to wake up gradually and take care of my legs and take care of my bowels um, earlier. Yeah. Um, okay. So I did promise to talk about how I made my pain scale. So this is how it is. Um... I like to go with uh, like a diary first um, and you don't have to enter stuff every day uh, just like what I did uh, a quick one minute less than a minute even uh, first thing in the morning is best um, before the day takes over and you know there's always stuff in the day that will sort of change the baseline so baseline in the morning is a good thing to do and uh, it doesn't have to be every day but if you can get like five out of seven days and do it for a few weeks um and then what i did was i had the appointment to kind of prompt me to do it but i sat down and i listened to the videos um and i went through i just wrote keywords down and i noticed that there were some patterns so the patterns um, that I were seeing were um, there was um, pain location and pain intensity and pain qualities. So that's what I decided uh, just to kind of count those out. And I've made myself a kind of um, a table with those um, columns and... Um, now I'm just going to be able to use it as a checklist. So it's going to be a lot faster for me in the morning. Um, so once I get it all printed out and like usable, I think what I'll do is maybe spend a month um, going on my checklist with you guys. And, um, and then I'm going to look at it again, look at that month of data. And um, yeah, so we'll explore how to use, you know, data um, to kind of guide my understanding of my pain but I'm hoping that somebody will get something from it and I do think that it's a good way to communicate with doctors because it's kind of how they're taught um, any course on psychology any course on biology any course on groups of people experiencing similar things is going to be using statistical methods and and there's a particular way of thinking that goes along with that kind of training. And um, yeah, as patients, it's important to use the language that they use because that's how we get care. Okay, that was too long. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.